born. Now, what that initially meant to me was that you, when you were born, you were going to be a leader or you weren't going to be a leader. And now I'm thinking it more in a much more deeper sense of that quote, and probably maybe what, not even what it was meant to be in the first place, is that I actually really do believe in being reborn and continually reborn. part of these students were only really uh, probably three or four years older than I was so a lot of their needs were my needs too and so I suppose I had enough initiative to draw those people together and then took on that leadership role and then I was being pushed along by the needs of that group of people or by the needs of that community so in a sense that educated me up more than oh I must learn this I must learn that the the reality of the situation demanded my training in a way. Uh, one of the things that I really have tried to um, incorporate into my leadership style is this notion of stewardship. So what you have to appreciate is when you're put in a position of leadership, um, many people think that they've earned this right for leadership. As a result, it's theirs. And I think in many situations that's exactly wrong. I mean, it's, it could be further from the truth. Leadership oftentimes is you are granted leadership by others. So the collective has come and said, we would like you to lead in this particular role. They have given you the authority to do that. And as a result, they've given you resources to make decisions on their behalf. In that sense, you're a steward. A steward's role is to think about how can I use the resources of the community that was granted for the best purposes of that community. The first thing I think about with leadership is bravery, actually, and sort of have the have the, the knowledge of yourself and, and of what you believe in and what is important to you and being able to communicate that to other people and not being concerned about um